my name is Stuart Cruz. I'm the founder of Cruz Asset Management. Cruz Asset Management is a boutique investment firm where we make our investment choices off of math and statistics only. And that's provided superior results for our clients and it basically at the end of the day gives them a more safe, secure and better future. The greatest challenge we face on a daily basis is really our current clients and prospects because their understanding of the investment process can be fraught with a lot of biases. And so part of that challenge is really explaining what works and what doesn't work in the investment process. For example, a lot of the professional money managers out there, they underperform. And most, most of the clients expect that these professionals have an advantage in the marketplace when they really don't because they're all trying to make decisions based off of the same information. Now, most professionals do do better than do-it-yourselfers, but it's still not good enough, I don't think. So how we've addressed this in the future is, again, we make a lot of our decisions or all of our decisions based off of math and statistics. And it's a different way of making choices, and our process has led to better decision-making for our clients. So in the upcoming years, the biggest challenge I think we face would be this massive amount of wealth transfer that's taking place from uh, baby boomers to millennials. There's gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 trillion of assets transferred. And so a lot of these, well, anybody really who's getting or coming into new money has a real challenge on how to evaluate who's gonna help them. And sometimes those decisions are, are made based off of semi-arbitrary attributes, like I like the guy, or um, he works at a big firm, or when I walked into the big firm, there was marble on the walls and that made me feel comfortable and safe. But these characteristics are not very good decision-making characteristics to help find a person who's gonna guide you through your future and your money. So the biggest challenge for us is to get the message out there on how you make these decisions better. And the reality is I'm actually writing a book on that very topic. And the book's called License to Steal because when I first got uh, my Series 7, which enabled me to trade professionally, one of the big brokers in this big time firm came up to me and said, congratulations, you now have a license to steal. Meaning I could steal from my clients. That's the mindset. Now most people don't really realize that a lot of people have that mindset in my field and what we want to do is get out there that that's not the way it should be and we should be able to add value out there. And so that's the biggest challenge is how can we get that message out? So the best business advice I got in the investment business was probably back in the dot-com days when the market was on a humongous boom and then a subsequent big time bust and it fell and it just felt like the sky was falling around us and some of the I'll call them old timers that were in the business at the time had been around for decades and decades and he basically said it's not different this time the most expensive words the most expensive words on Wall Street are it's different this time he said you're gonna feel like this is gonna go on forever but it's not and it's not different this time the market goes through booms and busts it will come out of it and it will go back into it again so anytime tell, somebody tells you it's different this time, it's not. And so the way I've been able to use that is when we do go through these booms and busts, I have to remind my clients, it's not different this time. It's the same thing we've seen it before and we know how to react to it in the future.